All right, it is tournament day. We're at one of the most heavily pressured parks in the city. It doesn't have a lot of deep water. It's mostly shallow. So it's going to be really tough, even if the weather conditions were agreeable. But it rained a lot yesterday. It rained this morning. And uh, I'm just coming to check out, scout out what the water conditions look like right now. It appears to be flowing a little more than usual. I guess the water level is up a little bit, but it's really not too bad. And the, uh, the clarity is actually all right. So the water condition is not, not too bad. We might be able to catch something. But the biggest concern now is, in, you know, walking around and accessing it without sliding and falling in because it is super muddy everywhere. The water actually looks good. I think we'll be all right. Now, accessing the water is another problem altogether. And yeah, see, that's what I mean. Like, well, not that you can see that because the camera is pointed off into deep space. But uh, yeah, it's very hard to walk here because this ground is packed down, so it's slick. So uh, yeah, if you're ever you know walking around the river or hiking, fishing, or whatever in these kind of conditions, here's a, a tip for you to keep from falling down. Avoid the smooth, hard ground. Get up here in the leaves, in the grass, and on the vegetation, and you'll have much better traction. You're not going to be as likely to slip. It's still a possibility, but you're not as likely, and it's a little bit safer. So, all right, let's uh, start getting everybody signed up. Hopefully, we get a decent amount of people today. Uh, this is where I'm going to start right here. This just looks amazing right here. This looks really good. So I'm going to start here, work my way south. Well, let's go back and get people signed up. And uh, hopefully we get a lot of people coming in today. But if not, that's okay. But it's also um, December, so it's the last tournament of the year. Which means it's Championship Sunday, basically. Uh, we have two people, first and second place right now, that are within 100 points of each other. So it's down to those two guys. Uh, I don't think it's mathematically possible for anybody else to come from behind to get, take that. Because I think third place is like over 200 points behind. So you, you get 100 points for first place. So that guy would have to win and then catch 100 inches of fish. And have the, guy, the two guys in first and second place both get skunked for, in order for him to win. So uh, He hasn't showed up in a while. He should have been coming out because... He'd be a lot closer if he had. But first place is, I think, 713 points. Second place is 640 points. So if they both show up, uh, it's down to either one of them. Because if the guy in second place wins, he might take the championship home with the trophy and the, the prize pack. Uh, if he doesn't, then it's going to go to uh, Fernando Wolf. Uh, second place is Roger Hernandez. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start finding people. Nobody's here yet. Let's get to it. <clears throat> you stuck? You got one already? <laughs> Fernando just got here too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. See what happens. Fernando's here. Yeah. Good deal. Make it happen. It's down to y'all too. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the championship's really down to just two people, Roger and Fernando. And uh, Roger just caught one right now. Uh, Fernando got here a little bit late, but he's here. So I'm not sure. It's going to depend on how well he does and how real, well Roger does. Well, Roger needs to win the tournament in order to get far enough ahead to take the championship. Uh, but if somebody else wins... 
then Fernando defaults as a champion. So, we'll see. There's a decent amount of people here, like 12 or 13, I think. And if one of them wins, then Fernando gets the championship. And, yeah, oh, there's a bite. I, I haven't won anything in a long time, so it'd be nice if I could get a win. I just realized the last time I caught a fish on this hook, I broke the barb off to get the fish off. So I should probably switch out hooks so I don't lose a fish during the tournament. Oh, come on. I had one swirl on it. I don't believe that. I had one swirl on it and pull it, but he didn't get the hook. Okay, something's got it. Got him. There we go. It's decent. What do we got? That's a good bass. Oh, I might have waited a little too long to set the hook on him. Nope, he's hooked in the mouth. He's good. I can't believe he stayed on with no barb. There we go. That's a, that is a solid bass for this park. Okay. He hit that as soon as it hit the water. Here. Got the right date. Right. Thirteen and three quarters into inches. It's actually a warm, warm bass with the cold water. That's kind of weird. I'm going to walk him down over here and release him because I'm way too up, up too high to drop something this heavy. If he was a little bitty, like, you know, six-inch bass or something, it wouldn't be a big deal, but he's got some girth to him and some weight, so dropping him from 10 feet in the air is not going to do good for him. Off he goes. Okay, so... Out of the two fish, two fish that I've seen caught, you know, that was an eight incher, and then right there, a thirteen and a half. It was actually thirteen and three quarters, but I couldn't get a clear picture of it, so I'm gonna have to go down to thirteen and a half. I don't know. If nobody else catches anything, I might have a shot of winning. We'll see. Yeah. There's a nice spot of the river over there. Let's get to it. I gotta get across this creek bed here. It's all slick and muddy. I don't know if I can do it. And if I do get across, I don't know if I can get back. <clears throat> okay, got down. Oh my god, I got another good one. Damn. 
gotta get him up over all this brush. That's a good fish. Stop. He's digging down pretty good. I don't know how to get him out of there. Come on, get out of there. Damn. There you go. Oh. Ho 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 ho. This is a good, solid fish. <laughs> Gee, I'm, I'm gonna have to get a weight on this one. He's not very long, he's maybe 16 inches long, but he's fat. Yep, almost exactly 16. In the rain, it's starting to rain again too. Oh, he's actually a little bit over 16. He's 16 and a quarter. Two and a half pounds. 2.47, and I think see 2.4 because it's uh that I forget how much that thing weighs. It's gonna be like 2.39 almost, something like that, because this thing weighs like 0.09. The lip grips do. And he made sure to splash me on his way out. Okay, I was standing over there, and I kept seeing some movement over here. I thought it was a turtle, actually, but I decided to throw over here anyway. And, oh, I just missed a fish while I'm talking. And uh, it turned out to be a, almost a two-and-a-half pounder, two and, two and a quarter pound bass, 16, 16 and a quarter. So that's two quality fish so far today. And uh, it's been a long time since I've had a day like this in general, let alone at a tournament. Oh, I just missed one. Yeah. Okay. So there's more here. I keep getting bites right here, but I'm not. They're not quality bites. They're just grabbing the tail of it. And honestly, I'm surprised I was able to land that fish. Because, uh, like I mentioned earlier, this hook doesn't have a barb on it. I broke the barb off because I couldn't get the fish that was that I caught at last. So, it's two fish that I'm really surprised I was able to land. And I almost skipped over this spot because it's kind of hard to get to. In fact, I'm still not sure if I'll be able to get back, back up this wall here. Almost skipped over it, but I decided to come down and check it out anyway. And it paid off. I need a tree to grab onto. There you go. The rain is definitely good luck for me. Uh, a couple years ago, I had a tournament at Converse and it was raining and thundering and storming, and I ended up actually winning that. So, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down in the description. So, check that one out. Of course, after you watch this one. It's almost four o'clock. Uh, can't get down close to the water here. So I gotta stand back a couple of feet from the water's edge. But it looks like a decent spot. There might be some fish hanging out down there by those lilies. And then there's structure everywhere and it should be a good spot. It's just this is one of the most popular spots to be at because it's right next to the road. There's somewhere to park, so people fish here all the time. Where I was a minute ago, people don't usually get down to it. Then again, the first fish I caught was right off the road too. So. Oh my god! One chased it up, almost to the bank, blew up on it, but he didn't take it. Got him! 
Here we go. Smallest one of the day. Low battery too, I gotta change out my battery. Ugh. Smallest one today is bigger than the average at most tournaments. This is an 11 inch. They're all double digit bass, I don't think. Don't think I've had a tournament quite like that in a long time. <laughs> Any luck? No, the one I lost the one. Oh. Well, you, you get the picture of the one? Cool. We count all of them. <laughs> That's my kissing me the big one. <laughs> See, you jinxed it. You're yeah. celebrating too early. I know. 16. Yeah. And then there's a whole bunch of guys that just, you know, when I was coming back, it was like 10 till, and they were still down there fishing. Oh, yeah. Six and a quarter, six yeah. and a half. And those last two you caught couldn't pull anything out? Uh, the last one I just did, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was, that was the biggest fish I caught. There he is. Did you pass up anybody else on the way over here? Uh, uh -huh. one guy the corner. Yeah. Seven and a half. <laughs> it's a different one because it, yeah. it looks like Look at the, the That one's shaped funny. Yeah, he's like fucking weird. He's probably stunted. Give me it looks five like inches. <laughs> <laughs> so you ended up with four. <laughs> yeah, probably in the corner. Yeah. Next year, come to scratch. Congratulations, man, on your championship. Oh, you got well, it. Well, you didn't win this tournament, but you got the championship. So. Yeah, dude, you did it. So, yeah. <laughs> so there's. Well, we're still waiting for everybody else to show up. Yeah, go ahead. Well, we're going to give him the trophy right now. Go ahead. <laughs> There's a, that's the trophy this year. <laughs> Came with the... <laughs> Price pack that goes with it. Yeah, a little bit of value. So, here's your, your box for the trophy. Probably gonna have to call it pretty soon and disqualify everybody else. I, I was almost pre premature giving him the championship. With what you got, he beat you by one point. <laughs> yeah, you got 785, he got 786. <laughs> yeah, take yeah. that back, delete the picture. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So. Yeah. You could all call one of those fish and it was meant to be. Hey, that was nice. Alright, there you have it. I was, I almost had a Steve Harvey moment where, you know, I almost gave the, the winning, the angler of the year prize to the wrong guy. But luckily, you know, after doing the math, it was... It was insanely close, like crazy close. Uh, the way our Angler of the Year points work is every inch of fish that you catch is a point. And if every time you, you rank in the top five at a tournament, you get points. So like first place gets 100 points, and second place gets 80, third place gets 60, fourth place gets 40, fifth place gets 20. So at the end of the year, whoever gets the most points is the Angler of the Year. And uh, this one, uh, coming into it, uh, Fernando had 713, and Roger had 642. And with after adding in the points and everything, Roger got uh, 143. He got 143 points, and uh, Fernando earned 76 points. No, 73 points. 143 and 73. So adding that up, Fernando ended up getting with a total for the whole year of 786, and Roger ended up with 785. So by one point was the difference, and that was just insane. So uh, thanks for watching. 
Uh, check out the description for the fishing group, for the tournament group, and uh, see you next time.